let's look at how to add a regression line to our scatter plot in Excel. So I currently have some data of a bunch of different sandwiches from restaurants, their fat content and their calories. So to make a scatter plot, I'm going to highlight both of the columns of numbers. I'll go to the insert ribbon and insert a scatter plot. There's our scatter plot, and I'm going to go ahead and label those axes, so the vertical and horizontal both. So on the horizontal axis, we have fat content, and on the vertical axis, we have calories. And we'll title this uh, Sandwiches at Restaurants. And then to add the regression line, when you click on your chart, um, you should see this design ribbon and then this add chart elements on the left. So if I click the add chart element, I'll go down to where it says trend line. I'm actually going to choose this one that says more trend line options. And the reason I choose that is that it opens this panel over on the right. And so I'm going to choose the linear fit because that's what we're studying in this class. And then I'll add display equation on chart and display R squared value on chart. So I'm clicking those last two boxes in the panel. Now let's make this a little bit bigger so we can see it. So here is my equation, y equals 13.733x plus 150.95. And it also gives me my R squared, my coefficient of determination. So my R squared is 0 0.8906. So that 0 0.89 is really close to one. So we would say that this line will provide fairly good predictions of what the calories should be based on the fat content as long as we're staying kind of within this area that we have our data points in. Right, so that should give you the equation and that R squared value by doing that.